Can I ask you a question, though, yeah, Pat? And sure. this is actually for the both of you. It's, I mean, you love America more than maybe anybody <clears throat> I know, and you weren't born here. You've been very explicit that I'm full on American. I don't yeah. even use a hyphen. <clears throat> Do you think immigrants who have left other countries appreciate and love America more oh, than natural born citizens? No doubt. Listen, I was walking uh, for for about ten minutes uh, outside in uh, in the city here. And as, as I'm looking left and right, and I'm looking, oh my God, we're such a rich country. It is totally amazing because I, and immigrants like me, we know where we came from, and there wasn't much there. Mm-hmm. And and opportunities are everywhere if you want to take advantage of the opportunities. Um, and the one thing that unfortunately is not playing as big a role as it should is that I mostly admire is the U.S. Constitution. I, I took a college course, a multi-session course about the Constitution. Absolutely brilliant document. We're talking about we're talking about uh, uh, how they uh, constructed the government so that minorities would be protected, as opposed to when you have a democracy. If you if you have fifty one percent of the votes, you can do whatever you please, and you can really run roughshod over the over the forty nine percent. So. Yeah, it's an incredible structure on how they had it. I mean, Hillary Clinton and some other people want to change it uh, to yeah. a different model, but uh, you're right. The, the structure is a, you know what he means by minorities. He doesn't mean minorities like ethnicity wise minorities. The 49%. Yeah. 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 Pat, where did your love for America really <laughs> manifest? Uh, uh, listen, you know, again, you have to, sometimes you <clears throat> appreciate a friend when you have a bad friend. Sometimes you appreciate a girl when you have a, bad experience with another girl. Sometimes you appreciate a guy you date based on a different bad experience you have. Some of the best things that can ever happen to you is something bad that makes you realize, listen, it's time to be super grateful. What were you complaining about? So the, the challenge with America, America has a gratitude problem. That's what it is. America's got purely a gratitude and a perspective problem. Those two things is what's hurting America more than I can tell you. Uh, we lack gratitude, we complain too much, we act like victims, and we don't realize that this is the greatest country in the world still. And uh, uh, rather than doing something with everything that's given to you, you complain about it. That's the biggest thing with me. This is the greatest country there. But going back to... Can, can I chime in just yeah, with, sure. with one, <clears throat> with one uh, uh, thing I want to say? Americans, right, not all, but a large majority of Americans are either fat, dumb, and happy or fat, dumb, and angry. We're fat. We're the, the most overweight nation of, of this, in the civilized world. 36% overweight. Um, <laughs> we, 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 looking at? We, we have dumbed down at least two generations of, of, of young people because we're not teaching critical thinking anymore. And uh, depending, you either, we're either happy because we... You know, we, we, we love entertainment, sports, and the TV, and binge-watching, and all that. And then we get angry uh, when things don't work, when we, we, we curse at each other in social media. That's, that's a, this is a systemic uh, issue in society that doesn't seem to have a, a good outcome if we don't find a way to... No, I, I agree with you. It's a very weird dynamic. The other day, Westbrook is complaining because somebody called him Westbrook. <laughs> and everybody's coming out and saying, well, it's not fair to talk to the person like that. What, whatever ever happened to, you know, sticks and bones, you know. Sticks and stones, 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 stones. <clears throat> Yeah, so what, what, mm. whatever happened to, you know, people can call you anything you want. Go complain about $40 million of your income. Okay, right. while you're going to your nice house, people are sitting trying to make 50, 60 grand a year. Mm. And they're really having to go through problems. You're worried about somebody's calling you West Brick because you're not practicing, you're not shooting free throws. Well, I'll give you one anecdote that that sings um, to your story. It's, you know, I went to uh, the Freedom Forum uh, on behalf of... uh, No, Gary Kasparov. uh, Gary Kasparov invited me. I'm sure you're very familiar with Gary Kasparov, um, greatest chess player uh, to ever live. Um, And I interviewed a lot of essentially freedom fighters, the one Iranian lady that you know with, with the big hair, and the um, gentleman that I interviewed from Iraq, he basically hosts the Daily Show in Iraq, to put it in perspective. <laughs> He's like a comedian, satirist, um, huh. political pundit, uh, funny guy. And to your point about being you know, fat, lazy, and happy, or, 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 or fat, lazy, and angry, and watch, you brought up reality TV and just sitting around and just right. whatever. <laughs> he said, I wish 
I go, what's your, your one wish, if you could, for the people of Iraq? I wish that we could just sit around and watch reality TV, and that's what I wish for the Iraqi people. Meaning that there's so much drama and so much conflict and so much tyrannical abuse going on that they can't even just sit down and watch TV for a half hour and just watch mindless shit. And that's what happens here in America yeah. is that we make our problems so much deeper than they really are compared to what's going on in the actual real world, to use a real the, world uh, The example. problem that with America sometimes is that they're too consumed with entertainment and not enough cons- consumed with you know, uh, uh, education after graduating from high school or college. Mm-hmm. Education <laughs> stops for most people in America, a lot, not most people in America, period. Most people, right. uh, the moment they stop going to college or they go to high school, they don't read books anymore, mm-hmm. they don't finish books, they don't <clears> romance mm-hmm. novels, let me see the best movie, let mm-hmm. me see the best this, let me see the best that. So entertainment has, a, has sucked probably 40, 50% of most people's lives where they right. don't... You know, put enough time. But at the same time, that is one of our greatest exports. I don't rock and roll entertainment. No, no, no. The American culture. You're talking to a guy who loves music, who's excited about Elvis's documentary coming out. Who? No, I I totally get it. But I think there's also an element of uh, 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 being a little bit more educated Mm -hmm. about history of what's Mm -hmm. really going on. That's what I mean by that. Absolutely. I mean, I I now run into people, younger people, you know, late teens or early twenties. What? Oh, KGB. What's that? (laughs) <laughs> you know, the biggest war in history, World War Two, and, mm-hmm. and 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 this uh, the mass murder that happened in in the last century, people don't know. Yeah, and if they don't know, they might not see it coming. It's not totally uh, out of the question that the United States one day becomes a dictatorship. Happened in Germany. So if you enjoyed this little segment from the podcast, click over here to watch the entire podcast. And if you've not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Take care, everybody.